Hi and welcome to another Type with me. This week I want to talk about Angular, SEO, Title and Meta. These are features that are not so well known within the Angular space and that's normal because SPAs from nature are not so SEO friendly. But we will see how we can do that, what you need to do, which steps you need to take and so on. So let's see how. So we're going to start off with a new Angular application. I did ng-new, new universal, right, which is our application name. And that's how we started. But if you want to have the SEO power so that your uh, single page application will be indexed within Google uh, or within um, Microsoft Bing, well then you need to have server side rendering there right so we can add that with ng add universal and then express engine um, so we will do that you need to know that um, when you want to deploy this uh, into a cloud environment for example you need to have node.js there right so right with ng add you will just add and install all the packages that we need to make a server-side rendering app out of that. Then I will show you how you can start your application and then we will, we will start with creating our first page there and then we will add a title and of course also the metadata there. All right, this is great. So to start your Angular server side application, you need to do dev SSR to just run, for example, Express and then have that up and running to go to the browser and have also server side random on your local PC. So here we are. You see here that we directly get an error or some kind of warning that we don't, we, we can't use this into uh, production, right? It's a simple uh, server. It's just for testing and uh, debugging, debugging purposes. Like I said before, you just need to have a Node.js um, environment running in production. And that's all you need. So now he's just going to compile everything and then we are uh, up and running right right so now we are up and running we can go to localhost 4200 and then here we say okay our universal app is running so that's that's nice you will see also that when we do a refresh page you'll see that we get directly uh, content so we know that our application is running uh, from the server and um, also here we can get some more info around okay i want to have a new component for example what are my next steps all right so we can very easily add a new component what's my next step to add uh, angular material or add uh, pda support so this is all great but okay let's go and create something awesome out of this right to have multiple pages so i will put here uh, menu items on the top and then you will have just some pages with some dummy content into it right so it's important to know that we need to do dash dash module app to generate a home component for example um, into the module uh, app right so now we have here also our home uh, module uh, created right and that's just nice because now we have here uh, something like homeworks, right? So I'm going to create all these uh, different pages here. So I can create something like um, a dashboard and create a dashboard page and something like um, posts, right? where we put our blog posts or something like that. So these are just uh, ordinary uh, things to show you. We also need to update here our routing uh, module, right? We need to add here our routes. 
right if we filled in our routes we have something like this we have our home uh, components we have our posts and we have our dashboard components right so like you can see i just updated the application right so we have our home page here with our home components and then i have my posts posts works and then we have our dashboards right but if you see here we still have the same title we have the same title universal if you go to posts we have still universal and when we go to dashboard we have still uh, the dashboards right also if i refresh the page here you will see that we still have this uh, title right here universal and this is really pity but we can very easily solve that so let me show you how we can do that so now in our home page components we can very easily do a private title title right we can import this one it's from the platform browser and then here we can do this dot title dot and we can do get title to see what the title is the current title is but we can also do set title and then we do welcome to the home page so i also did it for um, the dashboard components i put it dashboard in the title i also did that for the posts components i did posts uh, there yeah, I, I set the, the title posts there and so now we can see how this looks like within the browser so with dashboard works we get here the title dashboards also when we go to posts you will see that we will get posts work if you go to home page you will see that we have welcome to the home page even if you don't have universal application it's very great for your end users that you just set the title you can do something like your application name and then dash and then the section where your user is right and um, that's that's even an, a, a very good thing so i, I really recommend to use title it's uh, a very unknown uh, item of angular but it's it's great to do so also from a user experience point of view all right so the next thing that we needed to do right so i'm, I'm, I'm just going to uh, do an inspect you will see here that we will have our uh, title welcome to the home page but we also want to set some uh, meta tags here right so it would be great to do that as well so another great service to use here is the meta tag service so what we could do here is in our app components we add a constructor right and then we can add meta tag service there which is meta it's also imported from the angular platform browser uh, right all right and of course i also want to have informants on in it so let's go here And then of course here we add different tags important tags for us so we can do so i just say okay these are these are keywords this is the author the viewport the date of course um, the chapter set so we can all set them right here so if we go now to the browser you will see here that we have our keywords robots author date which is great that's what we wanted so we have it there it's something that you can put just globally right where we put it there within our app dot components but you can also put it on a certain specific page and that's what we're going to do right now so globally we used add tags but that's something that you can't use right here for example here we want to we're going to use something else right so i'm going to do here private private meta tag service 
and then you have like I'm going to import it and then here I'm going to do this right so I'm going to update attack right uh, other things that you also can do with he, within the service and that's just great because it, it's it's all angular so you can very easily um, see what's going on what you can also do is just add attack but you need to be aware if you have if you do add tag it just will add that specific tag to yeah, the area right and so if there is already some uh, tag with name description it just will, it just will be added to it right so just to show you uh, that we can just here to add and I also will do this with view all my dashboards or something like that or view all my tiles or something like that I will I will do that and you will see uh, right away what I mean so I have an add tag on the dashboard and I have an add tag on the uh, post components right so okay let's see what this does right all right so here we are at the home page right so if we go here to add and then you'll see here that we don't have any description and that's normal because we didn't add one so if you go to posts and then we go to here you will see that we have our description which is great that's what we want right but if you go to the dashboard you will see here that he adds another description and he don't he, he, he doesn't delete the description of our other page right so if you go back to post you will see here that um yeah and we go back to dashboard you will see here that he just adds another description so he will add uh, the tag because we also instructed to add it and not to update it so what i now suggest that you will do is just change that to update tag all right so we do update tag here and also right here I'm just going to save it and we're going to see how this will behave within our application. All right, so now we are at our home page, right? We don't have any description right here. And then when we go to posts, you'll see that we'll update our tag with view all my posts. And with the dashboard, you will do so as well. So with posts and the dashboard. If you go back to your home page, you will see that he still has the description tag right there. So be aware when you just works when you just work with the with the meta tag uh, service that um, you need to really know what you're doing how you are doing things uh, it's it's very easy to make some kind of small mistakes there but overall it's very nice to just add some meta tag and some um, some some titles there. So one last big thing, the canonical service, right? We want to set a canonical URL. Why do we want to set a canonical URL? Well, we want to set a canonical URL to uh, say to the uh, bots of Google or Microsoft Bing or the, yeah, the search engine bot what the uh, exact URL is. So to remove duplicates, content and so on. If you have duplicate content, you can be penal uh, you can get penalties, right? Uh, from from Google and you will be lower ranked so we want to avoid that and you can very easily do that by just uh, implementing a set canonical URL if you have a URL you just uh, use that if you don't provide a URL you can do this dot dom dot URL right from the document and then of course we can just create a link which rel canonical and then we add our link and then we set our href to can URL, right? So because it's uh, injectable provided in root, we can very easily use that. I'm going to use it. 
uh, in, for example, my posts. So here I'm going to say private canonical service. And of course, I want to put it on the next run line. I'm just going to import it right here. And then here I can do this dot canonical service dot set canonical URL. I'm going to save it. And now we're going to see how this looks like within the posts uh, page. All right, so here we are at the home page. And again, if we go to posts, you will see that we have updated our description and we have here our canonical, which is slash posts. So that's great. So whenever uh, a bot visits slash posts, he knows that it's slash posts, right? Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Just use meta tags, play around with it. Uh, use the title uh, also. It's also a great feature. Also, when SEO is less important for me, it's a very important feature with Angular itself. And not a lot of you are using that. So if you like this, please give it a like uh, and subscribe to my channel.